Hey, how's it going you guys? You guys are top tanners. You guys came back. I'm Landon and I'm just letting you guys know that I'm over 600 straight days on the vlog channel. You guys should check it out right over here. I've been vlogging every single day without missing a day for 600 straight days. I'm trying to go for some kind of record here. Let me know if I have the Canadian record for the most consecutive vlog days in Canada. So if you guys want to check that out, click right here. Also put the links in the description below. And also I want to hear from you guys what most amazing top 10 videos you guys want to see next. Go to my Instagram and let me know over there. So enough of all that. Let's get right into to what you guys came for. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 terrifying human parasites. And after this video, you guys might be a little bit freaked out. I'm sorry. So let's get this unfortunate list started in at number 10 with bed bugs. They're small, oval, brownish insects that live on the blood of animals or humans. Bed bugs are active mainly at night and usually bite people while they're sleeping. They feed by piercing the skin and withdrawing blood through an elongated beak. The bug feeds from 3 to 10 minutes to become bloated and then they just crawl away unnoticed. Immature bed bugs called nymphs shed their skin 5 times before reaching maturity and require a meal of blood before each shedding. Under favorable conditions, the bed bugs can develop fully in as little as a month and produce 3 or more generations per year. Flying into our number 9 spot we have the pot fly. These parasitic insects are infamous for their ability to grow under the skin and feast on the flesh of the host. The human bot fly is a parasite native to Central and South America whose eggs are transported to a host by dozens of species and mosquitoes, flies and ticks. Female bot flies capture the mosquito, fly or tick, attach up to 50 eggs to it and then release the insect to find a host to deposit the egg. The eggs then sense the body heat of the host and they hatch and attempt to crawl into the feeding site of the mosquito. People have actually reported to being able to feel and even hear the maggots moving around under their skin. Talk about creepiness. Up next, in at number 8, we're talking about the hookworm. This is a parasitic blood sucking round worm who live in small intestines of their host. Human contract hookworms through roundworm eggs and larvae found in dirt contaminated by feces. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, hookworm infections occur in an estimated 576 to 740 million people worldwide. It mainly affects people in developing countries in the tropics and subtropics due to poor sanitation. If someone came into contact with contaminated soil, the larvae would enter the skin, travel through the bloodstream, and enter the lungs. They also travel to your windpipe and are carried to the small intestine when you swallow. Fully grown, they can live in your small intestine for a year or more before passing through your feces. The guinea worm makes its way into this list in at number 7. This is an infection caused by parasites that is spread by drinking water containing guinea worm larvae. This worm is the largest of the tissue parasites affecting humans. The adult female which carries about 3 million embryos can measure 600 to 800 millimeters in length and 2 millimeters in diameter. This particular parasite travels through the victim's subcutaneous tissues causing severe pain especially when it occurs in the joint. The worm eventually emerges causing an intensely painful swelling, a blister and an ulcer accompanied by fever, nausea and vomiting. This parasite affects poor communities parts of Africa where they don't have safe water to drink. And at number 6 we're talking about tapeworm. Tapeworm infections is the infestation of the digestive tract by a parasitic flatworm called tapeworms. Live tapeworm larvae are sometimes ingested by consuming uncooked food. Once they are in the digestive tract, a larvae can grow into a large adult tapeworm. Adult tapeworm can live up to 30 years in a host. That is crazy. Intestinal tapeworm infections are usually mild, but invasive larvae infections can cause serious complications. Halfway on this list, we're in at number 5. Let me know if you guys are freaked out yet. But now we're talking about the flareal worm. These worms get into the human host via mosquitoes that eat microscopic early stage worms the size of a red blood cell, which is very tiny. These then migrate to the lymphatic system, mature and mate. Here they can cause inflammation of the lymph nodes. Those with repeat chronic infections are threatened with experiencing the unpleasant and disfiguring manifestation of the elephantitis which involves dramatic and often debilitating swelling of the body part. Unfortunately for the men infected with these worms, the scrotum can also swell up as well. Moving its way to number 4 we have the loa loa, also known as the Eye worm. This is a parasitic worm that lives within humans and other mammals' bodies, especially in their eyes. It's contracted from certain flies, and after an infected fly bites the victim, the worm begins floating around the tissue of the host. The worm then travels alongside the tissue until it stops, which causes swelling and irritation. If you get this infection in your eye, you would be able to feel it moving around. It can also be seen floating around if it's big enough. I mean, 
that uh, something you do not want to experience. Luckily, this worm is killed off by using antibiotics or extracting through minor surgery. However, this worm can actually live inside of your body for 17 years. Coming into number three, we have the kanguru. This is a small parasitic catfish that is commonly found in the Amazon River. This fish is known to grow to a maximum length of six inches. The smell of human urine appeals to the fish and they can find their way to the human penis or vagina under the water and enter it. When this occurs, the fish attaches itself using its razor sharp spines on its head, which causes an enormous amount of pain. The kanduro chews its way through the host until it reaches an artery and drinks the blood until it's satisfied. Second on this list, we're talking about the Onchocerciasis, or river blindness for simplicity. This is caused by the parasitic worm Onchocerca vovulvulus. It is transmitted through repeated bites by black flies. This disease is called river blindness because the black flies that transmits the infections lives and breeds in their fast flowing streams and rivers and the infections can result in blindness. These parasitic worms can also cause skin disease, nodules under the skin and debilitating itching. And finally, we made it to number one. We have the Neglaria phalari, referred to as the brain eating amoeba. This is a free living microscopic amoeba. It can cause a rare and devastating infections of the brain, primarily amoebic meningencephalitis. The amoeba is commonly found in the warm fresh water and soil. It usually infects people when contaminated waters enters the body through the nose. Once the amoeba enters the nose, it then travels to the brain in which it usually becomes fatal. Well there you guys have it, that was the top 10 terrifying human parasites, hopefully I didn't freak you guys out. Like I don't know what's going on inside of me right now, but if I feel like a little itch or titch or something in my eye or something's moving, I'm going right to the doctor, so send me to the hospital. Well thank you guys so much for watching this, I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> So let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section below. And like I always ask you guys, what top 10 videos would you guys like to see next? Put your suggestions in the comment section below or go to my Instagram. A lot of you guys are messaging me, even on Twitter, about top 10 videos you guys would like to see. And I often reply to you guys back on there as well. And if you guys want to continue watching videos, you guys can look right over here. Give one of these a click. That's it for me, guys. I'm off to the next one. Okay, bye.